All right. So I know this is kind of a big claim, but Riot's MMO will be the WoW killer. Let me tell you why. Riot has a long history of making great games. From League of Legends to Valorant, Riot hasn't shied away from iterating on existing games and putting their own unique twist on things. League of Legends was released 14 years ago and is still going very strong. The game was essentially a copy of Dota and it continues to grow year after year. This year it's on track for an estimated average of 150 million monthly players. Similarly, Valorant, which was a copy of Counter-Strike, is a lot younger than its counterpart, League of Legends, but it is also growing in popularity. This year, it is on track for an estimated average of 20 million monthly players. Riot seems to have found their niche in picking a specific genre and iterating on it and making it better than the original game. Their next target? MMORPGs, more specifically, World of Warcraft. Now, MMORPGs are different. They require a lot more work and a much bigger team to design the game. But who's better suited to create an MMO than one of the world's biggest game studios? The Riot MMO was spearheaded by renowned game designer Ghostcrawler, the same person who was a developer for World of Warcraft and League of Legends. Since March of 2023, Ghostcrawler has stepped down to the personal reasons which could cause potential issues for the game's direction and development, but he was not the only talented developer on the roster. The game is still hopefully in good hands. The game so far has been pretty quiet on most of the features planned, but here's what we do know. The game will be set in the League of Legends universe Runeterra. In recent years, League has been doing a lot more lore building, such as their hit Netflix show Arcane and a standalone story game called Ruined King. I believe this is being done to beef up their lore for the MMO. The map looks to feature two continents, similar to Vanilla WoW, with Piltover, the main hub, being in the middle of the two landmasses. The game will have raids, dungeons, and PvP, like a typical MMO. There's no changes there. It's just a question of how they're going to design their raids, dungeons, and PvP. Will it be similar to traditional MMOs, or are they going to think up something unique? Will world PvP be at the forefront, or will arena and battlegrounds be the main source of PvP? We're still looking for answers about that, but once those questions are answered, I'll be sure to fill you guys in. So that's kind of the extent of what we do know so far about the game. Here is what's more speculated or rumored to be in the game, so take this with a grain of salt as it's still pretty much up in the air. The game will have classes similar to archetypes that are in League of Legends, such as a mage, a bruiser, or a marksman. I don't think they're trying to reinvent the wheel here, just them saying that the game's classes will be in line to that of a traditional MMO. Now, this next feature is where they go more against the grain of a traditional MMO, but it's one that I'm most excited about. The game will feature action combat, so not tab targeting like World of Warcraft or Arc Age or any MMO like that. It's going to feature tab targeting, kind of similar to Black Desert Online. Um, and this is something that is really cool and that I'm really looking forward to. A game's combat system defines a game for me, and for them to break the mold and go in the direction of a newer combat system is a thumbs up in my book. That's pretty much it for the speculated rumors. I mean, some is really out there, but those are the more likely to happen, I would say. So let me just go into my thoughts and then you could tell me if you agree or not in the comments. So Riot has a lot of potential to make the best MMO. If anybody can do it, Riot can. They have turned different genres on their head and made them way more popular than they were to begin with. Look at League of Legends, look at Valorant, they're both killing it within their own space. One other thing is the game is probably going to be free to play. All other Riot games are free to play. We're just hoping it's not pay to win. None of their other games really are. So that's a good sign right there. Hopefully it's just cosmetics or little XP boosts or something like that that doesn't break the game too much or give you an unfair advantage within the game. Lastly, losing Ghostcrawler could really suck. Time will tell, but... Ghostcrawler has been instrumental in World of Warcraft and League of Legends development. The only saving grace is that he did start on the game and he has put a lot of development time into the game so far. So hopefully his 
bricks are laid and they use that as a foundation for going forward and kind of bring his vision to light without trying to rock the boat too much. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree or what you would like to see in this game. There really is not a ton of information out about the game yet. The game is slated to release in like 2025 or 2026 at this point. Losing Ghost Crawler could set that back a little bit while they look for a replacement. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this or not, and I'll keep you guys informed. Later.